Hey guys, so if you've read the title, then you know that this video is all about what to pack in your beach bag when you're going on a cruise ship excursion. You may see the Christmas tree behind me and be wondering why is this girl talking about the beach and what to pack in December? Well, I mean, a lot of people do travel during the holiday season. They go on cruises and in the Caribbean, it's warm. But if you're watching it later on, like in the summer, then hey, it's right on time. All right, so let's get started. Of course, you're going to need an actual beach bag. So some type of bag to put all of your belongings in. I really like this one I got from Target. I'll try to link it, but it's just like this mesh bag. I love it because it holds a lot, but it's also semi-see-through, so I can find a lot of my things inside of it. It also has a few pockets on the side, so that's always good for carrying things. All right, the first thing you're going to need, a hat. It's hot. Do not be the one that gets burnt on a cruise. You do not want to have your first or second day of your cruise be a day of sunburn, and then that ruins everything, right? So a wide brim hat, I like this one because it covers part of my shoulder as, as well. Um, but any hat will go in there. And on the same vein, you're gonna want some sunscreen, no matter where you go, whether it's to Alaska, the Mediterranean or the Caribbean because the reality is the sun rays will burn you whether it's super duper hot or not so hot. So have some sunscreen and put it on no matter what the weather or the temperature may be. And you may also want to pack some bug repellent. I know when we went to Mexico, the mosquitoes were trying to eat us alive. <laughs> um, and so having mosquito spray is always handy, whether you're at the beach or doing a different type of excursion. The other thing you may want to pack are some comfy shoes. I love these water shoes. Um, Crocs also come in handy because they protect your toes, but also they're easy to slip into and they're waterproof. Um, so I love these because they have a little bit of a thicker sole, so they're really comfortable for a lot of walking. A lot of times when you're going on these excursions, you have to walk from the cruise ship to the bus, um, the tour bus, and that's a bit of walking. It can be kind of far, or it's a lot of walking involved in your actual excursion. So you're gonna want some comfortable shoes that are suitable for land and sea. So waterproof and comfy on land. You're also gonna want to bring, of course, a towel um, as lightweight as possible. A lot of cruises give out beach towels. So just take one of them and pop it in your bag as you go. Another thing that you may find handy is a wet dry bag. Once you're finished with your water activity, whether it be swimming or jet skiing or what have you, it's always good to kind of change your clothes, especially if you're gonna go on and do another activity. So say if you went swimming, but you wanna do some shopping or browse around the port or just go on a hike, I don't know. You may wanna get out of those wet clothes. So I always like to bring a wet dry bag to pop any wet clothes in. If you have little kids, this also comes in handy because they just get dirty and wet, or you know, if they have an accident, you can pop it in here and it keeps everything else that's in your bag dry. Probably one of the most important things, I should have mentioned it first, is you're going to want to bring your room key, okay? Your room key is gonna be essential. It's what's gonna help you get back on the ship. So make sure to bring your room key. Um, I always keep mine on this lanyard. The cruise ships sometimes provide you with them, but I find them just like itchy. So I've gone and purchased my own. Um, and I like it because it has like this little string to stretch it to do what, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure you bring your room key and photo ID. I would recommend you not taking your passport off of the ship. Leave your passport in the safe, in your cabin room, in your stateroom. Bring like a state ID, a driver's license, something that if it got lost or stolen, it wouldn't be the end of the world. You can leave and get home, okay? You can get a replacement easily. Now, in terms of what you actually wear on an excursion, I'm just gonna include it. What I tend to do is have my bathing suit. So this is one of my favorite bathing suits. I'll put this underneath some form of cover-up. 
and I have the cover up here. Okay, so I'll have the bathing suit under my cover up. This is one of my favorites. It's just easy breezy peach. So when it's time to swim, I just take off the cover up and I'm ready to go. Um, and then sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, you may want to include like a change of clothes, like actual clothes and underwear and things like that, depending on what you're going to do after. But a cover up usually works and I just wear that back to the ship. Then I also tend to pack all my little things inside, just this small little bag, just like little essentials that you may need. So for example, I always carry some hair ties, especially after a day at the beach or doing a water sport, you may want to pull your wet hair back out of your face. I love to carry some lip Maddox or some lip balm, um, even some lip screen to keep your lips from protected from the sun would be great. So some type of SPF lip balm is great. Um, any medicine that you may need, so Tylenol, Advil, if you have uh, vitamins or if you're on some type of prescription, I like to pop that in, as well as some tissues, hand wipes, and hand sanitizer comes in handy. Since we are trying to be sun smart out in these streets, you do not want to forget your sunglasses. I always go for inexpensive, um, especially on an excursion because you do not want to lose them. I lose my sunglasses. It's kind of sad to tell you how many I've lost. Um, so yeah, a pair of sunglasses um, and that way you are protected from the sun and also if you haven't done your makeup or if you're just feeling beat from the night before, it's a good way to look put together without having to do much. Another thing you may want to bring is your wallet. Um, I do not recommend bringing your entire wallet and all of its contents. Maybe just a little bit of cash because a lot of the excursion places you'll visit, uh, even like some of the vendors that you'll encounter, a lot of places just take cash. Um, and you may want to bring one credit card, not your primary credit card, one that if you lost, it would be okay. Of course, you'll also want to bring your phone or some type of camera or device that you're using to take pictures and capture the memories. I tend to just take my phone and I have a waterproof case that goes around my neck. Um, when I went hiking um, the waterfalls in Jamaica, Dance River Falls, we used this waterproof case and I was able to take pictures of us going up the mountain without having to worry about my phone getting wet um, and I typically will keep cash and any credit cards or uh, photo ID in that little case as well. The last thing that I'm going to mention you do not have to bring but some people may choose to is to bring a water bottle filled with water from the cruise ship. Um, a lot of places especially in the Caribbean, Mexico, they do not recommend you drinking their tap water. So unless it's in your budget to buy bottled water, you may want to just bring your own or fill up a water bottle so that you'll have it handy. Um, these can be really heavy in your bag and when you're walking around all day, you're trying to like lighten the load, so I get it. We tend to just buy bottled water, but if that is not something you w wish to do, then you may want to pack a water bottle as well. I will quickly mention some things that maybe you should not take in your beach bag. One, of course, is your passport, as I've already mentioned. Um, any valuable jewelry, so wedding rings, um, if you're dripping in gold and diamonds, you may not want to bring that on the beach excursion um, simply because it could get lost or, heaven forbid, stolen. Um, you don't want to be diving, scuba diving, looking for your diamond ring on the bottom of the sea, right? So leave valuable jewelry or items in your stateroom um, and you may also want to consider not bringing anything super heavy in your bag because you're gonna be carrying this around all day long. So keep that in mind, pack lights, but pack the essentials so that you are prepared. One last thing I want to mention is, don't forget before you get off the ship to ask a crew member or read a sign, check the app to see what time your cruise ship is leaving. Whenever you go off on any excursion, no matter where you are, this is gonna be important. You do not want to be a dock runner. You don't want to be the ones chasing the ship down as it moves out of the harbor. So make sure you know what time you're to arrive back. Aim to arrive at least 
and this is pushing it, an hour before departure. That way you're there, you're settled, and you're not saying bye-bye on the dock while the boat's pulling off. All right, so I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Comment down below if you think I forgot anything or something that you might pack that I did not mention. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope that all is well and take care.